Have you ever driven by a wind farm and wondered how those wind turbines work or who keeps them working? Let's meet Paul Marquis, who's learning how to operate and maintain wind turbines at Laramie County Community College in Wyoming. My name is Paul Marquis and I'm going to Laramie County Community College and I'm majoring in wind energy. I'd never been in schooling before and I just went from one job to the next. I figured this is a career, you know, not just a job. The program here is really hands-on. It's a lot of fun. We've done climb exercises, maintenance on the turbine that we have here. We've done torquing exercises, lots of mechanical and electrical information that we're learning. We've been going through maintenance and just how the machines work, how the generators actually work. That can transfer to a lot of different jobs. It really does seem like the stuff that we're learning here will apply to what I want to get into. And also a lot of the skills that I'm learning can adapt to other industries also. How come we have a resistance difference in the start winding? The class size is really nice. We only have 20 students in this program right now. And so you can get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with an instructor. The other classes, I mean, we do do general education courses also. And those are just basic um, first year, second year college courses. Depending upon what part of the maintenance schedule you, you're, you're working on specifically. Mike Schmidt has really been a uh, mentor for me. He's really inspiring. You can tell he knows what he's talking about. Start, it's our cap start motor. He's been in the industry before. He's not just somebody that has read the book and is teaching you that. I think that's a lot better to learn from somebody that's been in the industry because they know that when it's written in a book, it's not the same as going out and getting your hands dirty. Wind energy is really interesting to me because it's clean energy and it's completely renewable. Wind energy is a harnessing power from the wind to create electricity. After this program, I'd like to do maintenance on turbines for a while and then eventually move up to commissioning them, which is just going through brand new turbines and uh, debugging them. And eventually, I'd kind of like to get into placements of wind farms, like measuring uh, annual wind speeds and different things like that. A lot of the jobs nowadays are coming from community colleges and industrial training centers. And I think that's where people need to start looking. There's a reason that we're looking for new sources of energy, and this, I think, is gonna be a good one. I think I'll probably be in this industry the rest of my life. There's no question that the field of wind energy will continue to expand. And the skills that Paul is learning in his program will help him land an exciting and lifelong career.